paint stick more because we do not want the paint to be peeling. So after that, I'm just going to wipe all that dust off the table, which I probably shouldn't have done, but who cares? Okay, so next thing I will be doing is putting some glue on the crack to really glue it down because we do not want that crack there anymore. I mean, who wants a crack in their squishy? I don't think anyone does, but I think some people do it on purpose. Weird. But I am going to be putting a pretty thick layer on just to make sure it stays because, well, we don't want it to eventually wrap again. And we want to make sure it really, really sticks to the foam. After that, I'm going to be putting on some rubber bands, but then I realized that, oh, I had some other places to glue. And you really want to use a rubber band because it really helps to press down the foam to really stick better. Because if you don't, then it won't stick that well. After the glue is dry, I'm going to be taking up the rubber bands and putting on some puffy paint, putting out all, all around the cracks just to really seal it in. Now I'm going to be putting a pretty thick layer of puffy paint on, well, because we want a thick layer, a pretty thick layer, because the thicker it is, the better it stay on. painted it because then that just would ruin it okay so also the puffy paint turned a little pink after i had set it on the cherries kind of weird i wonder like did the paint start or did the puffy paint start sucking up the paint on the cherries which doesn't make sense did i mention that the cherries are huge weird just on the cherries, which they already basically have a base coat since they already have some puffy paint. But still, we're gonna do it. It's fine. Okay guys, and now we're on to the painting part, which is the funnest part, which we already kinda already painted since we painted a base coat. But we're getting onto the fun part where we use coloring paint. That sounded weird. Um but I am painting it tan because I'm kind of wanting to do like kind of like a cake kind of thing. So tan for like vanilla, yeah. I did like the pink from before, but the yeah, the bright yellow, the bright pink was too much. So I need any pink 
so I made, so I'm still using pink. So, I'm just going to be trying to get all over because we do not want to, we do not want any spots, spots that are not, that don't have paint on them, because then it won't look that good. later and it is done with the pink and now I'm gonna be going on the cherries with of course red because cherries are red um as I said before the cherries are really big which kind of bothers me but I still like them so I'm gonna be keeping them it's fine so I like them and they bother me weird okay um I'm just gonna be course get all of those spots to make sure I really fill in all of those so they don't have any empty white spaces. Okay a few coats later of the red and it is done. So now I'm going to be putting on the highlight which is really fun which I'm not a big fan of the highlights on this squishy but it's fine. I'm still keeping them. Um, I'll just make sure, I'm going to be putting some highlights on the icing and also on the cherries, which I'm still doing the icing right now, but I'll be putting highlights on the cherries too. So I did this one highlight and I hated it. I mean, I really hated it. So then I just took it off and redid it. And after that, finally I am done with the squishy. I am very happy. Or kind of. It is kind of a simple design, but it's fine. Okay guys, now we're on to the next squishy, which is a kind of like coffee mocha kind of thing. Um, I've actually seen Mariah give this squishy makeover too, so I'm doing it. Um, I've actually done one of these before, um, but of course not on camera because this is my first squishy makeover. But I am going to do more squishy makeovers, so yeah. Um, as you guys can see, I am sanding it right now because we want the paint to stick because, of course, it will not stick if we do not sand it. Okay guys, I'm going to be vacuuming the desktop this time, not wiping it off the table. Yay. I'm good. Okay, now I'm going to putting on I'm going to be putting on some puffy paint right after I trim a little area, which is where the straw was, and I just wanted to trim that off real quick because we don't want to trim it off after we put the puffy paint on. Not a very good idea. Okay, so yeah, as I said, after I'm done trimming, I will put on the puffy paint. I want to be putting a pretty thick layer to really cover up all these little cracks that are in the, like, the whipped cream because we don't want any little cracks. We don't want them getting bigger, like it's in the last squishy. I am pretty much saying everything over again. And Um, there's Eva's hand I had to, I needed her help, um, squishing out some of the puffy paint. Now I'm going to be, like, wiping that all around to make sure it gets, um, get, gets around all the edges and everywhere I want it. 
because I don't want like, just a big blob. And that'll take forever to dry and that just won't work very well. Okay, after that, I'm going to be putting on some white paint on the, like, the actual cut part. And, which took forever because the paint, the white paint was so light, and the pink, was, and the other pink was so dark, and so it took forever to do. Yeah. And finally, I am done with the white paint. Finally, that took forever. Okay, so now I'm using the same pink I used in the last squishy because I like the pink, I, but I did darken it up a little bit, which is fine. Um, I just love the pink, it was, I, yeah, it was so pretty, so I wanted to use the same, so yeah. After that is done, um, okay, as you guys can see, I did do something with the whipped cream, and I totally regret not filming. <sighs> I'm mad at myself. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so, actually at the beginning, it has this little circle thing, so I'm adding that to, here, I'll give you a little video. That's what it is. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm adding the cir same circle. I'm not quite sure what I want to have inside the circle. Eva was like, you should have some like cool girls. I'm like, no. I do not want to do that. I kind of thought about doing a cool cat A. But I'm like, no, because then I'd make the letters really small. I'm still thinking. Okay, I'm done with that, and now I am going to be adding a star um, inside the circle because that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah. But also, as I started getting onto it, the star kind of looking, looking like really, really weird. I tried to fix it up. Right now, I'm looking at it, and it still looks kind of weird. But... It's fine, I'll be leaving it. If I ever do do a video of fixing up squishies that I've ever ruined, kind of like what Mariah Elizabeth has done before, I, I might include it, but I really already do like it so much. So I might keep it, but I'll just have to find out eventually some other time. And here is the before and after. I hope you guys like the squishy. I mean, I like it besides the star. The star isn't my favorite of the squishy. The drips are probably my favorite. I love the drips. Okay guys, last squishy, finally. Now I, or Eva, is going to be sanding this cake squishy. Um, and, well of course, no, if you don't sand, the paint, will, the paint won't stick to the squishy like I say always. Okay guys, so now we are going to be gluing it now, like we did in that last squishy, well not the last squishy, when we did it with the first squishy, which I was very happy that we did not have to glue the other squishy, which it went much faster than the other one. Okay, so I'm going to be just gluing that, and of course, after that, rubber banding, right? Rubber banding it, so they stay together. Okay, so after the glue is dry, I will be showing you guys that it's dry. Okay, um, after that, I was kind of annoyed of the cherry, so they're really floppy. And I, I'm like, I already glued that, so I'm not going to glue again and have to wait again for it to dry. So, it's a nippity snappy. Why did I say that? 
I'm, I'm weird. Okay, so I just cut off the, the cherry on top of the whipped cream and the two cherries, at least I think they were cherries, they're very flat, kind of like they sunk into the cake. Like they put them on while the cake was baking. Yeah, um, so I just snipped those off and tried to sneak it out as much as I could. Why do I keep saying snipped? I cut those off, not snipped them off. I'm weird. Okay, um, so after I did that, I will just be add, well, I will just add some fabric paint and clean up those little spots. And I wiped that off like the other times I did. Not really, I wiped it into my hand and put it in a trash can. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna be putting on the puffy paint on the, on those parts because we really want to seal it up because then it'll just look weird. And I will, I will also be using the puffy paint to put all around the cracks just to really help it to seal it. Okay. After that, I did put on some on the sides to just really seal up the the cracks. Okay. Also, as you guys might have seen, um. A little bit ago, if you guys could rewind real quick, on the side of the cake, you can see some pink, and that is what I was talking about with the cherries. It happened to the to the cake too. It's like the like you probably see it like right now a little bit, but it was like the puffy paint sucked up the paint. So weird. Okay, after that, I um added some tan not in a video i am very sorry about that but it's okay um so i i am showing you guys now on the bottom part i don't know what's happening to me today i keep forgetting to do stuff yeah um so i'm just like getting that all over and on the other side which i'll probably have to put like a couple more coats after that Forever to paint. Okay, after that, I will be adding some puffy paint on the whipped cream. Just to really like make it look more like whipped cream. Um, and I'm not having it on camera. Good job, Olivia. You're a great filmer. Okay, so hopefully, I'll get that back on the camera soon. Here is the before and after. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.